Hi all, I have a very special game to show you today. A new kind of chess AI technology. Stockfish NNUE is playing black in this game against Stofflays. And this is Stofflays 2. Uh, the time limit for this game, it's a 60 minute game with five second increment. It's in TSEC season 18, um, NNUE versus the top four. So it's a special tournament being organized to test this NNUE. So what on earth is it? Well, I went to the Talk Chess forums, which they're, they're real experts in computer chess. And there was a post by Ra Rafaxion, uh, May the 31st, 2020. So this is quite recent. And it started off a long thread. And he basically said someone ported Shogi neural network called NNUE, which is efficiently updatable neural network spelt backwards so like neural network updatable efficiently you know, if you spell it backwards so that's uh, that anyway he he ported it to stockfish 10 as a proof of concept he released binaries and instructions after i asked him a few days ago so that's on the talk chess forum and it's triggered off a whole discussion and now it's even been tested at TSEC, and it's quite amazing. Let's have a look at this game. The opening book move given is only A3. This is a, a weird opening move to start off with. Uh, Polish Sokolski opening, A3. I guess it can transpose into an orangutan with B4. B4 is orangutan. So anyway, we have uh, C5. That's the first move chosen by Stockfish, and then UE. I, I, I get the gist. I mean, this might be only very a very abstract level that it's kind of trained on Stockfish variations for that neural network um, to provide the kind of evaluation function. I get that impression anyway, sort of trained evaluation function. And the nodes per second are pretty fast. Uh, in comparison, say Lila, so it, it is very, very interesting. So here, d5, e3, knight, c6, c4. We we have a kind of reverse Benoni, modern Benoni. The modern Benoni isn't that great with the black pieces. With the white pieces here, after e takes, c takes, I would have expected d3 uh, to avoid any risk uh, to really play it like a, a Benoni in reverse with you know an accelerated maybe campaign to use the queenside pawn majority, which is one of the features of the Benoni and also this semi and e file later. You know, all the perks of Benoni, but we're playing um, white. But here, uh, Stofflays um, played b4, and this incurs some risk. Just for the record, d3 has actually been seen in a wild game of uh, Rapport, uh, Richard Rapport, or is it J Rapport? No, actually, it might not even be Richard Report. I was struck by the name Report, but it might be a J Report in 2014. Uh, so anyway, there was this game in 2014. Is at least 2300 this player. Maybe it is Richard Report. And White went on to win, actually. It's not entirely terrible to play this as a Benoni in reverse. White went on to win against the 2500 player in 45 moves so you know that's not entirely terrible but b4 is really asking for something interesting and stockfish and then ue plays d3 <clears throat> creating a, a central form pawn disrupting the development of white's bishop clearly bishop b2 we have knight f6 black has weakened the dark squares though There's, there are downsides of this approach this pawn could be weak later we see g3 here, and now queen d7 trying to tap into the upside, really, which is this very annoying check with the pawn there. Now, I don't get this next move by Stofflays. It actually played queen b3. I don't quite get it. It seems very controversial. Much less controversial, and I think white still with a reasonable position, is to play bishop g2 to be able to meet queen e6 check with king f1. And, you know, the king's protecting f2 here. And white's looking forward to maybe some play later, for example, like this. Uh, you know, it seems a reasonable position for white. There's nothing too major about it. And this pawn might be a liability later. The dark squares might be good for white. The queenside pawn majority might be good for white later. But, um, 
if we just check this out again uh, here by the way on Queen takes c4 you might be wondering maybe this is why stuff lays refuse this continuation you know Knight c3 e5 b5 might be good here to uh, you know take care on e5 and it seems okay it seems about even so yeah it's it's very very interesting this Queen b3 and now we, we do have this disruptive check and a kind of weakness of the last move the king has neglected f2 and in fact that's what stockfish goes for that f2 pawn now king c1 knight takes f2 rumor has it stoff lazy had a bit of a knight on the tail <laughs> the night before yeah <laughs> and was a bit drunken or something had to have beef stew in the morning to try and uh, get over it yeah a bit hung over for this game it seems like that anyway Maybe that story isn't true. So King G1, we have Queen G4. Uh, here, if F6, I mean, Queen G4 is actually quite a critical move, though. If F6, say, Rook G2, well, it should be fine here. That should be fine, actually, believe it or not. The bishop seemed fine. I know the king's been inconvenienced. It should be okay. But we have this critical test, Queen G4. This is a real nuisance move, actually. Queen G4. Uh, rook, sorry, Bishop G2, and we have Knight H3, another nuisance move. Rook F1. If Bishop takes H3, Queen takes F3 is actually stronger than Queen takes H3. So, for example, here, Queen E2, and these bishops are staring at each other here. Knight C3 hitting the Queen, but Queen takes H2, Bishop takes, Rook takes C5, E6. Black should be with the advantage here clear advantage so we have rook f1 and now knight f4 yeah it's continually being annoying you know is the knight going to plonk itself on e2 here we see knight c3 if g takes f4 queen takes and this position is just nice for black we can at c4 it's vulnerable and if bishop h1 the knight does go to e2 and bishop f5, it's really nice for black. f6 will blunt white's use of the e5 square. That's really nice. Black's got the driving seat there. So knight c3 is played. Knight takes g2. So this is uh, an interesting, a really interesting idea from Stofflays. Uh, yeah. <laughs> it's, it's a very creative idea. Very creative to sacrifice a whole piece for this knight d5. It does look as though, for the moment, it's quite menacing. I mean, look, you know, the rook's got this potential semi open file. The knight's got, you know, there's, there's lots of tempo gaining possibilities. It looks ferocious in, in, in many respects. But um, some cold shower moves are kind of thrown at white. King d8 is the first one. So extinguishing c7 for a moment. h3, and we have queen takes b5 and now instead of moving the knight f6 is played this is one of the stronger moves in the position blunting potential use of the f file here and the e5 square knight a5 isn't actually a total disaster uh you know b6 here it does seem as though it's pliable actually even after bishop e5 this position it seems as though knight e3 here this is i know really weird tactics come to the rescue here for black it's it's crazy stuff but um it seems as though black should be okay in this line it is crazy uh here though if um after queen b4 if f6 queen takes a5 uh, here, if b6, knight takes b6, queen c7, yeah, making use of that interesting pin, and black's got the advantage there as well. So it does seem as though there was another option to f6 in knight a5 there. It wasn't mandatory to give up the knight. Uh, and it's not even taken bishop c3. If it is taken, fascinating, if it is taken, uh, this position, there doesn't seem to be a major issue for black. Black does seem to get in the driving seat again. So bishop c3 is played. Knight b8. 
c5 knight d7 queen c4 okay there, there's something emerging here if white's given more time this this stuff looks really quite dangerous driven by that knight on d5 but now cold shower time guess what stockfish and then ue plays so efficiently updatable neural network of stockfish what does it play here if i give you 10 seconds to pause the video okay it extinguishes the threat of that sort of stuff with knight takes c5 queen takes so and now e6 gaining a key tempo the queen's guarding c7 here the bishop's hitting the queen we have check king d7 uh b6 uh potentially runs into a little bit of uh trouble here uh white uh might actually get an even position so no need for that king d7 is the more accurate move queen d4 and now actually the knight's taken king b2 not bothering with queen takes d5 check here queen d6 is sufficient for black and it seems black's great there so king b2 it seems as though white's running out of attack knight f4 rook a e1 and now b6 queen e3 so that looks to be doing uh nasty things uh potentially like queen e8 but king c7 check king b7 yeah the king's gone into self-service protection mode here and on b7 it seems pretty safe rook g1 knight g2 queen takes h3 giving up the knight i know this looks ridiculous but this this is also it seems okay for black by this point uh black's got enough material here king safety is fine so but knight g2 is playing and we have rook takes an exchange set there for rook c6 so there's there's maybe a threat of rook takes this is extinguished with b takes yeah black doesn't want to allow for example here rook takes and this this could get dangerous uh, so if king c8 there it's, it's just not worth it check and then queen f4 looking at c7 and here this this yeah it it's a disaster for black so no need to allow any of that we just have b takes a5 here white's one <laughs> white's running out of attacking pieces here queen takes queen takes h3 it looks scary though queen takes d5 again you know for this discovered uh check but king b8 queen b3 queen d7 yeah it's totally it's gone for white here yeah. white's really um it serves stuff that he's uh you know right for going out on you know too much last <laughs> the night before <laughs> it looks like a very bad performance the day after the aftermath of the day after especially this move yeah why it's had enough and just just wants to just get this game over with queen d4 so just offering the queen to bishop takes a3 check after queen takes yeah uh, it looks as though yeah <laughs> this just doesn't look very good for white now at all after b6 in fact it was resigned uh, on white's behalf okay so it may maybe it wasn't stuff uh greatest ever game um and in this particular tournament though the stockfish nnue has been particularly solid against the top four in general only lost one game to alistair i mean we could check that out but it's actually held its own against Lila and the main stockfish version so this does seem an exciting venture with the stockfish brand into this neural network territory this kind of hybrid training on variations of stockfish is is my impression but correct me if i'm you know wrong if you've got more specific details please do leave them in the comments of this game so yes it is a fascinating sub tournament uh of tsec 18 you know tsec 18 isn't isn't finished yet there's a lot of exciting events there's a great way of navigating those events by the way if you go to the uh, tsec chess site there's a 
check out uh, the archive and the navigation is beautiful there for these events. So this is one currently ongoing at the moment. Uh, so it's a fascinating new adventure. Uh, and it shows at least this version of Stockfish is not to be trifled with too much. It can uh, really defend its king with self-service if needed. This example shows quite dramatically. Uh, so you've got to try and be soundly attacking this version of Stockfish. It is pretty good on the calculation front, it seems. Okay, I hope you got something from it and uh, this video. And uh, if you want to challenge me for a game, Kings Crusher TV or bit.ly slash chessbot. If you register at chessbot, I'll be able to invite you for a game soon after. You can come and chat at the Kings Crusher TV slash Discord chat, Smarth chat. There's the playlists, uh, bit.ly slash Leela chess, bit.ly slash Stockfish chess. Uh, for the moment, I think these NNUE will go into the Stockfish chess for the moment, but it might get its own playlist soon. Let's see how it goes. So a, a new kid on the block, something to watch out for. Comments, questions, comments, questions, like, share, and subscribe with the notification bell. Really appreciated. Thanks very much.